pass over is when bad things pass over you and good things pass through you and they come into your life. Israel leaves Egypt and the night that they experience this great Passover, God not only tells them that their great miracle is happening, He tells them that I want you to make a holiday out of this miracle. God says, I want you actually to start your calendar from this miracle. I want you to start as a nation to make a statue for generations yet unborn. And I want you to implant in your memory as a memorial what I did. Many days after, after now, deliverance from Egypt will be forgotten. The emotion attached to it is going to fade away. The circumstances will be quickly forgotten. Generations after this will not even know how Egypt smells, looks, or even nothing about Egypt. And I want you to do this for the rest of the generations as a statue. I want you to know one thing today. God wants us to make His miracles a memorial in our mind for many reasons. we all sinners here. And most of us have already monuments of our mistakes in our minds. When we make a mistake, and even when we get forgiven of it, a mistake, a fault, a sin, even when it's washed by the blood, many times it remains in your mind as a monument. It becomes a point of reference, anything bad that goes in your life. And you quickly remember that mistake. God knows it's a human tendency when we are going through a trial to quickly remember the things we did not do instead of things God has done. And God forces a nation to make what He has done a national holiday for a memorial in their memory. And Jesus reminds them, He says, in every incident, in everything that you go through life, I want you to build memorials in your mind of what I've done or you will build monuments of what you did not do. Most of us, we remember things we should forget and forget things we should remember. For most of us, for our faith to be great, we just need to have a better memory. If your memory is a little bit better, your faith will be great. How did David conquer Goliath? By having a good memory. He faced the Goliath and prophet Samuel wasn't there to say, David, you are the man of the hour. The voice from heaven did not, did not come and say, this is my anointed man of God. Everybody, Goliath, get ready. Your head is about to leave your shoulders. One, two, three, go. There was no voice. Nowhere in Torah, God said, David is going to be the man and David went to other people and say what do you guys think and they say you, you're stupid you he went to Saul so if you're looking for encouragement from other people imagine you facing there and God is not speaking prophet is not encouraging and people who are supposed to you know pep talk you they're there and they're saying you're out of your mind what do you do where do you get faith to face your biggest challenge when your mind is filled with memorials of what God has done, what you do is you turn on your memory. And see, if David would have been like us, he would have only remembered how he fell asleep and the sheep was taken by a lion. If he would have been like me, he would have remembered how he probably was distracted by singing a new song and the bear came and attacked and took another sheep. But David wasn't like me and was not like you. He did not build monuments of his mistakes. He built memorials of God's miracles. And when the test came, he simply looked back in his archive, in his backyard and says, if God did it then, God did it here, God did it here, he will do it now and he will do it here. And this is that he said, that is enough for me. That is enough for me. Most of you know that during the test, the teacher is silent. If you are taking an exam, it is very foolish to begin to make noise. You actually can get kicked out of an exam by making noise. During an exam, what you have to do is you have to be silent. The very teacher that stands in front of you, that was speaking so exuberantly and so powerfully just a few days before, goes numb. And you can come to the conclusion that she lost her voice. You can come to the conclusion she for no reason hates you in her gut. You can come to the conclusion that she doesn't love you or you can realize that she is there testing you and making you remember what she taught you before you got the test. 
Every test is just a test of your memory. Will you remember what God has done before you hit the season? And God will be right there in your boat many times, but he will be completely silent because he wants you to build memorial of what he has done in your past instead of monuments of what you did not do in your past.